bright orange is always really useful to kind of help counteract certain things, fatigues, greens, anything that might be too bluish. Bright yellow is always good if you need to like correct something that needs a bit more yellow kick in it. The red is good for taking out black pigmentation. This brown on it, as you saw yesterday and today, pff, do everything with it. Black silk, bye bye, honour. The Marm pencil I used to use yeah, for years. I love black silk, and this is kind of a nice warmer tone than black silk. Black silk looks a bit grey against it. And then this one you can see is that real kind of burnt caramel colour, mm -hmm. which is just really good in this tone, and it really helps. Now, when you actually put that all in, and what's interesting to see, you can put the base on. Maybe you like to get a base on and then assess is it coming through. So let's just let's not be scared. I like the product all over what Karen's as well. Is that that's the highlight? Is that the highlight? Yeah, highlight brush. Is that a bit thinner than the blush brush? It's just again synthetic, really controlled size. It's a good mop head. You know, it doesn't do what a lot of makeup artists now are trained to do, is use these horrible whisk brushes. I have a big aversion to these stippling brushes. They're like using a cat's claw to put makeup on. It's just whisking everything up, it's missing gaps, it's not consistent, and they're doing it for four hours because it doesn't work. You know, so if you give me a flat brush, I'm just going to go flip-flop. If you give me a stippling synthetic nylon brush, cat's claw, you know, what does that do? Try that in some wet sand. You just scribble, don't you? So, loads of holes in it and then you have to do it again to kind of fill in all the holes you left and then again to try and blend that. Yeah. Some clever trainer of some origin there said this was the best brush ever now everyone's religiously flooded to it. Now the key thing is look we put it there and we literally have virtually a beautiful base and then we just scribbled all over it again and ruined what Darren had beautifully done. And now we can go back in and you can pick your brush weapon for the size and scale thing. I'll take the smaller one just to work in beautifully. Take the super foundation again, the skin base, blend that in, brighten it all up. Let's see Sam Fine doing this, Darren. <laughs> Dominion.com. <laughs> Which we've all got to go to. Shall we go to the Dominion? Yes, we all have to go. Yeah. Sit front row. Where's the orange? <laughs> Sam! <laughs> Sam, we need to come to the forum. We need to invite some of your classes. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually, do you know what, I was like a kid, recently, about a year ago, I was in Vogue America. You know your makeup artist when you're in Vogue America, I was like, this is a bit like a Betty, what if I see Anna Winter, I get a bit excited. <laughs> and I looked over and it was worse, it was Sam Fine. And he was sitting on the same ledge waiting to go and see Marie Claire, and I thought, Marie Claire, we're going to see Vogue, Marie Claire. <laughs> 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 a bit snobby on that one. And I was thinking, how embarrassing, I was like a child, I was like, Sam Fine. <laughs> <laughs> and I was thinking, his makeup is perfect, how much makeup did not look? It's perfect. <laughs> there was no one with me, I was just saying this to myself. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, the reception's like security, there's a strange man at the reception, hoggling <laughs> Sam Biden. <laughs> and you realise you really stopped, you know, overworked at that point. So yeah, he looks get, so perfect in real, real life. I met um, Caroline Cowan, mm -hmm. like a famous mm -hmm. body painting artist, she's like amazing. And I'm, and I'm not really starstruck by people. So she came into Mac and she was buying stuff, and I saw her name on the other two, and I was just like, oh my gosh, you're Caroline Cowan. Because she did this really amazing body painting of a woman who was pregnant. And then, like, it was orange peel of the world inside her, and it was so amazing. Like, it looked like it had been done digitally. And I actually met her, and I was just like, <laughs> I don't know if she's so formidable, she's about 7 foot 12, yeah, and she's, she's like a huge icon. She's really beautiful, but like really humble as well, and I think she's a bit embarrassed that I've... She, when you're a makeup artist, you don't really get recognised. People know you by your work, they don't know you by your face. So for someone to be like that, like in your face, which is yeah. like, oh, okay. What you should know is when Stacey gets obsessed with something, she clings around the leg like a five-year-old. She's amazing. And she's like, okay, thank you for like meeting me. <laughs> I wish I could body paint. This is my degree. I'm going to add a bit of blush in here, mm -hmm. cream blush. Bring some life into this. Can I just ask, does it have um, silicone in the foundation? No, it doesn't. No. It was one stipulation. <laughs> Please, can we have a foundation silicone absence? David and I have a real thing about it. It's like nails on a blackboard to me, silicone foundation. If you've got anything like oily skin, which I suffer from, and then if you put silicone on it, you might as well just throw the Zola. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not around in it, it's just, 
That would be more fun, frankly, <laughs> than wearing slippers. That always gets me a lot of primers. Mm. Like, because they're so thick. Yeah. 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 <laughs> there was the silicon was era, say, wasn't there, where everything yeah. came out with silicon, you know, back to the toothpaste with silicon, everything <laughs> went HD and then suddenly everything was silicon based. Again, you know, if you've got this very dark lip, can you see that you're prettifying it now with the pastel eyes and the really kind of fresh cheeks and this amazing kind of dewy radiant light reflective halation, all the adjectives I can put on the box for you, <laughs> foundation. And you've, you've forgotten about the orange pencil now, but it's just going, hello, push up, hello. And that's it. Then we can do our kind of like obsessive powdering bit that we all suffer from, don't we? So obsessive powder compulsion, like it's shining, stop it, stop it, that kind of thing. And we can just literally selectively mattify it with a bit of powder. Is that loose? This is a pressed one. I'm just going to set it with a pressed 325 powder. Note not going grey. Mm -hmm. And I'd really invite you just to come and quickly look at it out there because this is not good light.